Hello everyone, and welcome to your second Fan Requested Friday matchup of the week. Momo Benaziza. Love that name. Versus Sean Clarita. You know what this is? It's the Battle of the Giant Killers. And you notice the guy's name? Paul Bunyan. Huh? Paul Bunyan? Anybody? Blue Ox? Babe? Come on. Today's episode is brought to you by Going Poop. Anyway, guys, very uh, powerful, powerfully built is Beneziza. He crouches downward. He flexes his abs more. And Clarita, he expands his rib cage, creates for an awesome V taper. This is a this is a photo shoot, of course, of Beneziza. Bring it on stage, one up, guys. And you have to bear with me for these guys from the 80s or even early 90s. You're not going to really be able to set your, you know, the the guy on one one solid version. So it's going to be a mixed, matched variety of versions for Beneziza. He's a beast. A true beast. I'd give him a win. I'd give him a win. He's just too muscular, I think. And just as conditioned. Wow. Front lats bred. And this is a bad shot. And that's a shame. It's a shame. There's a lot of photo shoot pictures of Beneziza and I could have used all photo shoot picture photo shoot pictures did I just curse there I apologize if I did you may take note there is a misplaced nipple Beneziza his nipples well one could be too high one could be too low well one might be a little too high the other one might be a little too low and making a quite a differential in there I'd give this one to Clarita to be more serious turn to the side and i'm sure you're used to me being a little bit sillier on uh, fan requested fridays trying to make a uh, different sort of type of videos like my history of bodybuilding where i'm more serious you know what i'm saying guys so I might release some more craziness for the fan requested friday matchups i gotta say clarita he looks like a beast in this one and uh, after the first three shots, I would give him an edge. Condition-wise, maybe. A little bit better in the muscle separation, more vascular. I don't know if he's any more conditioned than Beneziza. As the legend goes, they say he was conditioned. Side tricep. He's conditioned, yes. Muscular, more muscular, I think. Thicker than Clarita, yes. But he's more blocky. Doesn't have the shape in the midsection. That Clarita does. And actually, is he more muscular than Clarita? Look at the delt on uh, Sean. That's impressive. Very impressive. The tricep itself as well. The pec. Look at the size of the big man's chest. Of uh, Benoziza. It is a big, thick, powerful man's chest. Go, <laughs> go to the back shots. <laughs> For those of you who are still... Uh, Staying tuned with this one, you're you're bearing or you're uh, being witness to one of the best back developments of all time for Beneziza. And the funny thing is, Clarita holding his own in width, maybe not thickness of the actual lower lat insertions, but man, Clarita's no joke though, guys. Clarita is no joke. Now here's an example. Turn tilt thously here, Beneziza. And it's not a good selection of, sh of pitchers. We'll swore again. Goersh. And um, it takes away from the conditioning. You can't really see the true condition. Because take a look, guys. I see strided glutes. Yes. Might care a little bit about the strided glutes. Giant killer versus giant killer. Man, oh man. Thick lat insertions versus vascularity and width. Both conditioned. Both impressive. Rear double by. Now this one here shows the true genetics. Just, and training, of course, of course. For uh, Beneziza in that back development. But I mean, come on. Doesn't matter how much you train. You're not going to get those perfect lat insertions. Looks like Samir Banu. You know what I'm saying, guys? I believe they, uh, do they? No, they don't come from the same area. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't want to get political. But <laughs> Sean Clarita, as good as he is, he's not touching Beneziza in this one. 
Now they did hold their legs a lot different. That's why I made Benazir a little bit taller than he is. He's he's only an inch taller. But I mean when you're holding your legs straight like that, and you can't really see the striations and the glutes like I said, but you know, the legend goes he was quite conditioned. Abs and thigh. Now there's no doubt in my mind who's getting this one, and it has nothing to do with the conditioning. Of Sean Clarita, I'm sure some of the judges prefer this, you know, abs and thigh over other guys. But to me, this is the most muscular. I'm looking at delts, and for an abs and thigh, I don't care about the delts. I want to see V-taper, I want to see abs and quads. And he does have some good quads, but he's holding a most muscular. And Ben Aziza, dare I say, is getting a victory. Finish this one off. Battle of the Giant Killers, one of these two will go off into the final three-way matchup. Three uh, matches this Friday. We will be back to four next Friday. I'll have to get two requests from one of these videos. Anyway, guys, it's always going to be debatable when using a bodybuilder from the late 80s, early 90s, or prior to that. The, vi the pictures, the footage, not the best. And you can clearly see from the few photo shoot pictures that I did use of Ben Aziza. I like to shy away from those. But hey, when you when you really have no choice, you got to use what you have. And you can clearly see, guys, he carried so much muscle for the size of him. So does Clarita. But in my opinion, Ben Aziza is just thick, thick, all the way thick, strided, conditioned muscle here is your winner momo benaziza mohammed benaziza one of the greatest guys as far as the uh being underrated first of all being underrated i mean he was never considered as a uncrowned mr olympia champion the guy defeated dorian yates though not too many people have that on their repertoire but as far as a back development is concerned he has to be mentioned in any top 20 list, to even top 10 list of best backs of all time. He should be mentioned in the video anyway. Hit thumbs up, guys, and look forward to one more. And, of course, look forward to your main event. And we're going to bring the main events back to Monday. So, it won't be a main event Sunday. It will be main event Monday. Look forward to that, guys. And look forward to many more special features I have a few I'm working on right now under my sleeve. Took me quite a while to set up that history of bodybuilding video. But I, like I said, I got a couple more under my sleeves that you guys will enjoy for sure. Have a nice one.